What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. Today we are taking on the first gym in this challenge, the Rustboro City Gym, the Rockin' Leader, Roxanne. Actually, she's the rock-loving honor student, which I don't think is quite as catchy as whatever I said at the outro of last episode. What, like, she's gonna rock your multiple socks off? I don't really know. Anyway, before we take her on, I actually have some preparations that I want to make as I seem to, like... I was about to choke there. I don't really... You ever just... Does that happen to you guys? Like, do you ever just choke on, like, seemingly nothing? Like, you're not even eating anything or drinking anything. You just, like, you feel like you're about to choke. That's... A weird feeling. It's also a weird thing to start talking about at the beginning of a video. So anyway, Kong Pao is right there about to evolve to level 16 and at that level he will not only become Combuskin but get Double Kick which is basically going to be our key to defeating this gym. So what we are going to do is actually use Parker who I checked out and actually has Absorb. Originally I was just going to go up to the other route and train up uh, Kung Pao there and get him to evolve but I figured we don't actually need to do any extra training because we've actually got Parker with Absorb so hopefully you know he doesn't get one shot by a surprise rock tomb and we can actually get this strategy to work so yeah I guess we'll find out as we take on the first trainer in this gym here it's youngster Josh you're a million miles away from taking on Roxanne man that's a that's what Brock's trainer says not not this guy. But anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is just switch in and out. And then eventually we also have to start training up Finch. Because the next gym, if you guys don't know, is a fighting type gym. And we're probably going to be using him. So, so far so good. No rock attacks. I don't think actually any of the trainers in this gym even have rock attacks. Like, aside from Roxanne herself. Who obviously her signature move is like Rock Tomb. I have a feeling that this is actually not going to be too hard of a Nuzlocke. Because I know so much about this game. I mean, later on, obviously, I start forgetting things because usually I have this, um, I've dubbed myself this, like, syndrome that I have where I'll start playing a game and then never finish it ever. So I'll end up replaying through the beginning of a game so many times to the point where the next time I say, you know what, I kind of feel like beating this game. I'll basically play, like, two seconds of it and then be like, yeah, I don't really feel like playing it. I've played it too many times. But it's only the intro. I never get far enough into a game to be like, well, now we're having some fun. Except with this game, I haven't played it in so long that I that's not really happening at all. Like, we're almost past the, what I like to call, I guess, the tutorial area. So, basically, once we get past this, like, first gym and the next little submission that we're gonna do, I guess, I'm just gonna call it, like, a side quest that we're gonna do. Even though it's actually part of the main story, that's what I call, like, the tutorial of this game. Even though, really, the only little tutorial is up to when... Uh, Wally teaches you how to catch a Pokemon or rather someone said in the comments or a couple of people did that Wally is the like you are teaching Wally how to catch Pokemon not him teaching you but I like to think of it the other way around because it's basically like through that they're teaching you as a trainer like if you're a new player how to catch Pokemon they always got to have that in there for all the new Pokemon players which surprisingly every time in my like hack playthroughs and all that I say yeah, you know, not that many people are probably going to find me through this video because this is a Pokemon hack. Who the heck is going to watch that? I mean, not with this one because it's an official game, but I always say that. And somehow, every time, there's at least, like, one comment being like, Hey, I just found Pokemon and now I'm playing hacks. It's kind of weird. It's like some people actually discover it through that. But anyway, level 16 for Kung Pao here. We're going to learn Peck. I'm actually going to get rid of... Oh, this lowers attack. I thought... Okay, I guess I was confusing it with Tail Whip. I thought it lowered defense, so I guess we'll get rid of Rao because we don't really need that. Um, if it was Tail Whip, I would have kept it because lowering Roxanne's defense is not bad at all because she's got rock types and they're usually pretty beefy in that defense, so it would be a pretty legit strategy, but it doesn't really matter. Well, I guess it does matter because we're going to be using Double Kick. Um, Kung Pao is going to learn that once he actually evolves. It's surprising that I remember all of this. It's like, I don't know how the heck... Do you guys ever have these situations where, like, you don't really think about anything or just, like, yeah, you, like, never think about anything, but then the second that a situation happens, you remember something from so long ago that has to do with it. Like, the other day I was watching Paranormal Activity, the original one, and I haven't watched that movie since it very first came out. But I guess that movie, when it first came out, I was, like, so into it and so scared of it that I remember it so vividly, like, as it was happening. I didn't remember it before, and I never thought about the movie, but then, like, I remembered every detail of it as soon as I started watching it. It's really weird. Anyway, Kong Pao is now going to be evolving into Combuskin, which means we are going to have some fighting-type power to take on Roxanne. 
The way that these starters works are really, really cool. I like that a lot about this game, I guess. Um, or it's one of the other things that I like about it a lot. And here we go. I don't know where we're going, but I guess we're going somewhere. I was kind of caught off guard by Combustion's Cry because I had no idea that that's what it sounded like. Uh, because I never really play with Combustion. My fond memories of Combustion are Mauville City when you're first getting into it. And there's that route with the bridge and you take on your rival. Because for some reason, I picked Trico and during one of my playthroughs as a kid, I picked Trico. And I could never beat that rival battle. It was just so hard to beat that rival battle for me. Even though, you know, like, I guess now I know a lot more about the game, so it's a lot easier. Uh, but we're going to get rid of Focus Energy there. We could have gotten rid of Scat Scratch, because we're probably not going to use it that often. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't really ever use Focus Energy, so it doesn't really matter how hard you try. Now that Kung Pao is evolved, though, I'm going to swap Mr. Finch up first. And we're going to level him up a bit, because we're going to use him in the next gym. I have a feeling that tonight's going to be Roxanne, the Rust Boro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Sure thing, girl, pal, friend, madame, lady, I don't, other names for girls. Miss, 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 did I say miss? I don't know if I said miss. That could be confused though and like, I might, my uh, Kung Pao might confuse me sit calling her miss and be like, oh, you want me to miss? All right, awesome. Even though that's not really how it works. Wouldn't that be cool if, I, like, in the future, Pokemon games have, like, voice commands? I mean, I know there's Hey You Pikachu, but come on. It's Hey You Pikachu. Anyway, her first Pokemon is going to be Geodude here. I think she's got two of them in this game. And then, obviously, the notorious, uh, N-O-S-E? <laughs> Nosepass is what I'm talking about. Big Red Nose the Reindeer, but he's not really a reindeer. He's just a rock. I should have actually swapped back to Finch because I don't think Kung Pao is dying anytime soon. Then again, you never know when she might get a critical hit. Never mind, because we're actually faster. And there's the critical hit. We actually got it. So, a little bit lucky on that one, I feel. Um, maybe not. Who knows, man? Alright, Nosepass is going to be her next challenger approaching. So, we're going to go out to uh, Finx. Or actually, it's going to be her last Pokemon here. One thing I've noticed, though, is that... Well, even, yeah, the first gym leader here has three Pokemon. How many did the X and Y one have? Because I was ta having a discussion in one of my episodes of something about how X and Y is more, like, trainer skill is determined more by how many Pokemon they can train at once, rather than, like, how high level they can get them, I guess. And I always found that interesting, how they swapped that up. Anyway, uh, our speed is going to drop here, and we are just going to, doesn't matter, we're going to swift kick you to the face. That's not a move. I mean, double kick you. Oh, no, Kung Pao can't escape now. The nose is too imposing. It's like, look at it. My nose is big and shiny and red. Don't you just want to pick it? I don't really want to do that, so I don't know why I brought it up. I mean, I, I would maybe, like, touch it just to see what, like, this nose passes nose feels like. Maybe it grants you special powers. Maybe it's like those... Like, aren't there people that, like, claim that if you, like, even just touching them gives you their spiritual energy? Maybe that's how Nose Pass works. It's like the Easter Island rocks. When you go up and touch them, they give you the energy of a thousand Easter bunnies. But for Nose Pass, it gives you the power of Roxanne. So I guess you become a waifu. I don't know. So I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. Yep, it's just rocked your socks right off, except she's still wearing them. Unless she's got pink legs. I never really know. Now, that's what I'm saying with these games being so pixelated. It's like, you could never really tell, man. Maybe she actually has pink legs. I don't know. I mean, now you can tell with the new games, because she looks really cool. All the characters just look so much better in the new game. Just like their, their facial expressions and all that. Anyway, with that, we have defeated the first gym in this Nuzlocke challenge. And no deaths so far. Which is definitely good. Because I am a person that works off of momentum, like I was mentioning in the last episode. So this is good. We can now also use the TM or HM cut outside of battle, which we got last time. In case you didn't get it, it's over at the Cutter's house, which is in this city. It's over on the left side of it, but uh, we're going to have to teach that to someone. And I'm not exactly sure who yet, but if we do, we can head back and get a couple of cool items back in the forest. But that is going to have to wait because get out! Get out of the way! Wait, please, don't take my goods. Mm, what kind of goods is this man talking about? I would like some of them goods. All right, we're going to actually take a little detour 
Um, I think I might actually limit myself to one heal per city because I never realized how, like, how drastic... Oh, what move should we replace? Because this is going to be permanent for a while, so I guess we'll just keep it. I don't know. I feel like Kung Pao will probably not learn that many great moves, um, and if he does, then I'll replace the ones that he already has, but... We're gonna go ahead and give him a cut for now. Let's see if anyone can learn Rock Tomb. I highly doubt it, but, oh, I guess Kung Pao can. We're not gonna teach him that, though. I don't like Rock Tomb. It misses way too much. But I was thinking maybe for this Nuzlocke specifically, I would put some kind of restriction on healing. Uh, I, I don't know how the rulings work on those because I've never done them before. Because usually the other two Nuzlocke that I've done, and even the ones I've done in my spare time, have been of, like, hack games, and they are a lot harder than this. Like, I'll have Pokemon dying left and right before even hitting the first gym, which I don't know if this game is going to pick up later. Uh, if it does, then I don't know if I really want to keep that rule or even set it right now. Uh, but you guys let me know what you think, because I don't really know what I want to do. So far, though, you got to admit, this has definitely been going smoother than expected, and I'm not sure if it's just because, like, this is, like, a, an official game, but... It really shows how, like, drastic the difference uh, some hackers can, like, do to games. Just, it ups the difficulty quite a lot. Uh, at least, like, the Sacred Gold and, um, what's the other one? Storm Silver. But those are kind of hacks that are meant to make the game harder. Volt White and Blaze Black, too. Those, those also. Those are the two ones that I played on here. And they were definitely harder. I actually got pretty uh, far into Sacred Gold. But Volt White was just terrible. So, I think um, after this, I'm probably going to stick to doing hack playthroughs as my Nuzlocke's. Uh, and, yeah, I don't know. I just really wanted to go through Hoenn one more time before Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Also, because... What's it called? I've actually never done a playthrough of this game. Like, in, well, I guess not just a normal playthrough. This is kind of a normal playthrough so far, though, just without me dying. Anyway, we're going to head back to the city... I'm just gonna speed right over there, because why the heck not? All we're gonna run into are freaking Poochienas anyway, so it's not like it matters, but... That's just what I wanted to get through quickly. Uh, I don't think those items are even that good, so I don't really know. I just like the 100%, like... It's cool, I don't know why. I always... I've been kind of... At least in Pokemon games, I'm always a completionist with them. Like, I just always wanna do everything that you can in them. But, next up, we're actually gonna head over here and go save this man's goods! He has lost them, and no man should ever lose his goods, so we're gonna go get him for him. Uh, but going back to what I was talking about, just had a little quick detour there, because we got some story. Um, I think after this, like, depending on how the rest of this goes, I don't know, I have a feeling that we're not gonna really die too often, so... That's why I was, first of all, implying, like, other challenges. Oh, hey, we got some cut trees that we can cut over here. Kong Pao, use that cut! Yeah, destroying trees. Uh, roar! Who the heck just says roar? What is wrong with you? No one just says roar. Well, either way, uh, I guess the man ran into that tunnel, so we're gonna have to go in there in just a little bit. But first, your bag has several pockets. If you didn't already know, one of them holds a magical map that can talk, and the other one has a monkey with boots on. I'm talking about Dora. Is that show even on? I saw that they're making, like, a Dora anime, and I was just like, okay, I, Nick, Nick, well, what happened, man? What happened, Nickelodeon? Like, did things really go that downhill after iCarly ended, man? That's the last time I watched Nick, at least. I don't know, I honestly, well, I guess there's Korra. I like Korra a lot, but that's on the website now, so I don't even need to go on the channel anymore. It's just like, what the heck happened, man? And the one time I did go to watch Korra, what was on Nick before it, was this show about, like, some witches? I, I don't know exactly what was going on. It was really, really bad, though. Like, the acting and just everything in it was just really bad. It felt like a... Like a badly done Wizards of Waverly Place. Not that that... Well, I guess I, I kind of like that show, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah. I mean, nothing to be ashamed of, right? You know? Wizards of Waverly Place, pretty good show. It's, like, about magicians and whatever. And Selena Gomez... You know, if, if, you, if you look like Selena Gomez, hit me up. Or don't. That would be kind of weird. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to associate my videos with uh, the Wizards of Waverly Disney Channel. Hey, how about we move on from this? Uh, but yeah, what, what was I even saying before I went off into saying what happened to Nickelodeon? Because I totally forgot. It was something about challenging myself with this game. 
Um, yeah, basically after this one, I'm just probably gonna stick to doing hacks. I do want to have my revenge in Pokemon Volt White, so if Selena Gomez could wave her little wand and make that game reappear... Not yet, though, because I don't really want to take that game on just yet. Hey, some berry trees. Two Chesto berries. I don't know what these berries exactly do. Uh, but I guess we can always check. Let's check him out. I always forget berries. That's something that I'm not very good with. Cherry berry, paralysis. Which one? We just got Chesto. Awakening. Poison. Well, there's berries that heal PP. What the heck? Can you use them? You can just use them and heal your Pokemon's PP. Wow, that's awesome. I didn't even know that there were berries that heal your Pokemon. That is very cool. I don't know why I've never known this. I'm definitely going to pick up some more then. Was it this one? I hope it was this one, because I need some more of them, man. Because last time we ran out of PP, and I, I literally never run out of PP, but I guess that's something that happens more often if you, like, don't heal very often, which I have barely healed in this game so far. But, uh, yeah, I think basically wrap th wrapping this up before we move on to the story is... Volt White Revenge is coming eventually, probably after Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I'm going to keep it off for a while on hold. Uh, but after this Nuzlocke, all the rest of them will probably be more hack playthroughs instead of official games. And I'll just stick to doing regular playthroughs of the original games. Anyway, here we have one of my favorite characters, Mr. Briny. And he's looking for his buddy, Pico. We were on a walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Roar, Pico! What is up with people in Hoenn and Roaring? I just don't know, man. This ain't no Rourke. He's over in Sinnoh. That was not a good joke at all. All right, this Pokeball reminded me that we can catch a new Pokemon in here. Don't be surprised if it is a Wizmer, however, because that's like the only Pokemon that's in here. So let's find out. And it is a Wizmer. So we get to catch this guy. And I have Finch up first. So actually Finch might be pretty good. I was worried that I might have Kung Pao and we would just kill this guy in one hit. Wow, Finch is actually doing a lot of damage. I want to check. You know what? Why the heck not use the Premier Ball? Wizmer, you are going to be the new premier Pokemon here, man. If we even catch you, that is. And we do. So there we go. A new member to the party. What will I name this guy? Hmm. It's cries equal a jet plane in volume. Are you serious? What the heck? I mean, I know that like Exploud is super loud. He's like a giant bagpipe bass cannon. It inhales through its ear canals because of the system it can cry continually without having to catch its breath. Hmm. Well, if it's that loud, it's got to be made by Beats by Dre. This video is sponsored by Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre, shout out, man. Thank you for sponsoring my vids, bro. You know, if you want to hang out, hit me up. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, there's our new Pokemon. I'm not sure if I'm really going to use him just because he's Wizmer. I mean, I guess X Xbot is pretty cool. I just don't like Wismer. Mostly because one time, I found a shiny Wismer. And it was in a game that I was doing for a charity stream. And it was in a Nuzlocke. And it was on a hack. So I've never found a shiny Pokemon in an actual game. Aside from Lillipop in Black and White 2. And I'm pretty sure I just erased that file. Because who the heck? Like, the first shiny I ever find in an official game on a cartridge. Not on, like, a ROM or my computer was a Lillipup. That is disappointing, man. All right, we've been standing here awkwardly staring at this Team Aqua Grunt for long enough. Let's take him on and see what is up. So you want to battle me, eh? Yay, yarg, arg, harg, harg. I'm a pirate, I guess. Or it's Leaf Erickson Day. One of those two. I don't know which one, but it's definitely one of those two. So you got your Poochiena. That's cool, man. I got my twitchy little bird, and we're going to peck away. I actually want to see if Finch can even do this. See, like... If this was, uh, I guess, any other playthrough, either they make the AIs for the computers a lot smarter, or something is up, because this guy just isn't even attacking. Look at this. Normally, I would I would not do this, just because it's super risky to have Finch out here against a Pokemon at the same level as him. So if this was any other playthrough, I would definitely like be using the swapping in and out method. Like, is this tackle even going to phase us? No, nothing from the Poochiena. I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe in, like, hacks, they make all the enemy Pokemon have, like, perfect IVs or something, because they definitely feel a lot stronger. That was an even battle there, like, level 11 versus 11, so I don't know, man. The boss told me this would be slick and easy job to pull off. 
I have a feeling they're not talking about the goods I was thinking of. Slick and easy, like, are we delivering water balloons? I don't know. All I had to do was steal some package from Devin. Tush, you want it back. Take that badly. Take it. I can't read, but he said touch, which I don't know how you say that. T-C-H? How do you say that? Tush, 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 tush. I get, what kind of sound is that? I'm trying to emulate the actual noise, like, I guess it's that sound, huh? I guess I've done that, or at least I've seen people do that when they're like, "Oh, that's that was such a like not not really." I was gonna say that's such a good joke, but that's not the sound that you make. When do you make that sound? Like, Tch. I don't know, man. I can't even think of it. Pico, I'm glad to see you're safe. Pico owes her life to you. Wait, what? Pico's a girl? I'm sorry. Hold on. I never knew this before. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are. Ah, so you are orange. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. Well, it just so happens that we need a boat to cross the narrow sea and go over to the Queen of Dragons. I mean, the Mother of Dragons and go take back our land, a.k.a. we got to go take on the next gym. And it's across the ocean and we just so happen to need a ship. And guess who's got a nice ship? Hey, we can go into this guy's house now. I wonder if he's actually got anything in here. Oh, I guess he's got a bunch of men living inside. Awesome. To get to Verdant Turf without using this here tunnel, you'd have to cross the Sewer to Duford, sail on to Slateport, then travel through Mobile. That is a bigger journey than Daenerys actually made, so maybe I was right in saying that we gotta go across the Narrow Sea and go visit her. Is that is that even the Narrow Sea? I'm pretty sure that's the Narrow Sea, the one that leads you to... Uh, from Westeros to Essos and... Game of Thrones, everybody. Good show. Alright, I guess uh, this guy just has a bunch of dudes living in his house, but they don't do anything. And to avoid any more wild encounters and grass and things, I'm just not a fan of grass. I think our character is actually allergic to it. We are just gonna deforest this thing. Man, those are some quick growing trees. That's like Chia Pet level right there. I don't know if Chia Pets actually grow that fast. I never had one. What I did have was those little like foam animals that you can buy. At like the dollar store and you put them in water and they'll like grow over a couple of days Did you guys ever have those because I used to love those like I don't know why they were so entertaining It's just like you put them in a bucket of water or like it's like any container with water in it big enough and they will grow like crazy man I remember I had like an alligator one and then it grew like super big and it looked kind of gross like I don't they get really gross when they're big uh, But then I used it to scare my sister all the time and it was awesome Man, I miss that. I just want to go back and just like prank my sister again. It doesn't work anymore because she's like too old and I guess like I'm too old. So it doesn't like really, it's not the same effect. It also, like it's just not the same, you know? Sometimes, man, you never know when you're, when you've been in the good times. I'm totally butchering that Creed quote from The Office. You never know when you're in the good old times until they passed, I guess. Something like that. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I've just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateport Shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Steven. Pretty boy Steven is coming. Probably in the next episode, actually. I'd never be so cheap as to ask a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this! And we are going to get the Pokey Nav. In a couple of years, this will be the plus, and then it'll bend when you put it in your pocket. I, I made that joke in the thing, and someone got pretty mad. I don't know exactly why. It was just a joke, like... And that actually happens to people. So maybe the Pokenaf Plus actually does bend in your pocket. You never know, man. By the way, I've heard that Sinister Criminals, Magma, and Aqua, I believe, have been making trouble far and wide. Are you sure you're not talking about Team Rocket here? Do they say that in their theme song? I feel like they do, but I don't remember. To, uh... To extend our reach the stars above far and wide? I, I think they say far and wide. I can't remember. I would probably have to recite the whole thing to remember it. So why the heck not? That's probably gonna end off this episode, though. Uh, so I guess we'll just try and recite the entire rocket theme. What's the first line? What is the first line? Prepare for trouble and make it double. Why can't I remember this? I've heard this so many times and I can't remember it. I feel like one of these guys does something, but today I've just been feeling a lot of things. There have been feelings and they are hurt because they end up not being right. I just feel things and they're wrong. 
My feelings are wrong. You never thought the feelings could be wrong, but guess what? They can, and they are wrong, and I can't remember the Rocket theme song, so I'm gonna go cry. I guess this is the scientist that does something. He doesn't do anything inside, he just he gives you the map. Never mind, he gave us Match Call. A new feature, you can chat with people who have been registered. Skype. Thank you for watching, guys. I guess they don't want us to end it off, so I guess we'll just call the president, man. Calling old men. That is what I live for. That is the whole reason that I exist in this world, is to call old men on the PokéNav. And with that, we're gonna end it off. So thank you guys for watching once again. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. And next time we head on to the second gym. Goodbye.